Hey there, and welcome to Reading Rural, y'all. Get it? Because abbreviating young adult literature looks like y'all, well, you get it. Anyways, this is a channel dedicated to putting together a collection of rural YA and talking about them from a rural perspective. I'm Dr. Shay Parton, and this is a new adventure for me, so I'm so glad you're here. A little bit about me, I grew up on a farm, I went to a rural school, I taught at a rural school. In 2016, I moved to Austin, Texas, which is a thousand miles away from my rural home, to attend UT Austin, but when I got here, I didn't really feel any different than I did when I was at home. Uh, so it was here in my new city-fired life that I started to realize how much the rural area I was from shaped who I am as a reader, a writer, a teacher, a person, and that I had only ever really read one or two books that reflected who I was as a rural person and my experiences living in a rural town. Wondering what kind of rural YA was out there, I discovered just how hard it was to Google and find lists of rural YA lit. It's pretty easy to find books of urban stories and suburban stories, but not so much for rural. And that's what this channel and project are about. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 25% of U.S. schools are rural, which means that around 9 million students and their teachers have really nowhere to go to find mirrors of their lives and identities, and suburban and urban teachers have nowhere to go to find windows for their students. Shout out to Rudine Sims Bishop. If you don't know that work on mirrors, windows, and sliding glass doors, you should totally check it out. I'll put a link in the description. What rural folks do often see of themselves reflected in popular culture is a stereotype and caricature that emphasizes the backward ignorance and other flawed single stories. Shout out to Chimamanda Adichie, I'll link that one too, of rural people. Think Duck Dynasty, Swamp People, Beverly Hillbillies, Deliverance, Hillbilly Elegy, and the list really could go on and on. Because of this, rural young people learn to be embarrassed of their rurality or else take up and become those stereotypes. Like me, many either want to leave or end up leaving it behind, unfortunately believing that leaving is the only way they can achieve success. What I want this channel to do is to help both teachers and students know where to go to find diverse and good representations of rurality, good rural books, maybe good is the wrong word. Maybe authentic is better. Authentic books, authentic representations, nuanced books, nuanced representations that they can read with critical and open minds to continue to sustain and grow in who they are as rural people no matter where they are. I still feel like a rural person even though I don't necessarily live in a U.S. Census Bureau designated rural town anymore. So this is complex. And I want to make a space where that complexity is both acknowledged and valued. So every week I'll post a video about a rural book. So make sure you subscribe to get those updates. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, y'all come back now, would you?